Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a Class B motorhome that I'm not even calling it a mo motorhome. I'm calling it a mobile office. This is a 2021 Thor Sequence Model 20K. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then, we're going to give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I'm super excited to be taking a look at this very unique Class B motorhome, the Thor sequence. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everyone. Hold How's, on. Oh. How's it going? It's going good. I'm excited. You say this is like a mobile office? Yes. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to see this. Yeah, it's super exciting. Hashtag van life. Oh no, don't do that again. Hashtag van life, yeah. It's either a mobile office or a class B motorhome for just one person. Also, uh, we hope to see everybody this weekend at the Ocala RV show, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You mean the World RV show? Eh, no, the World show got canceled. It's now the Ocala show again. Aww. I'll explain in tomorrow's video. Okay. Model is... 20k Thor sequence but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 20 feet 11 inches this is the Thor sequence it is their class B motorhome on the Dodge Ram chassis or people are like man it's not Dodge anymore it's just Ram I don't know it's the Ram chassis has the 3.6 liter Penstar engine V6 280 horsepower and 260 foot pounds of torque wow right over here we do have mirrors on the side Check out these tires, Andrea. They're the Nixons. I love those. LT 225-75 R16. Very nice. Very basic. So normally, I'm not a fan of the white Class Bs. They look too much like a commercial vehicle. Whereas in this case, because of the mobile office, I like it. This is going to be the, for the people who work on construction sites or job sites who's going to be taking this to the site, you know kind of using it for more commercial work right here we do have the door nice nice sliding door to have a screen door open also we have a power awning let's take a look at the awning when it's all the way out okay there you go oh wow nice power awning with led lights and what's real nice is here's these little poles underneath the awning yes to make it stand also there's going to be a wind sensor so if the wind blows too hard, the awning will automatically retract itself back in. It's pretty cool. And because this is a Thor, it does have a two-year warranty on it. Limited warranty. Wow, it's a great size awning. And like you said, oh, it's getting windy. Yep. Now it's, okay, so okay. now it fixed itself. Yep. And so I see the poles would go Oh, they're right in here. They're extended. Yep. So look, you and guys. The, and then they come you out. Just take them right out, and they sit on the ground. Sensor not on. I don't know. And I like the LED lights up there. That looks pretty cool. Look at that. Maybe there's not a wind sensor. Oh, actually, you know what? I bet you there's not because of these poles. Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. Coming right. outside, we have a nice running board right here. Okay, propane quick connect. Also, this is where the poles can go into as well. Cool. Right there, and then you got power on the outside. There's the propane quick connect. Yep. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bike rack Be for your bike. Watch your head. Yep. Last time, last time we did a Thor sequence, this happened. Mm -hmm. What's up on the roof? What's that? What's up on the roof? Oh. I don't really want you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll make sure that won't happen again. And uh, yeah, that's just a silly feature. You got a ladder to get up on the roof. Uh, up on the roof, and it does here, actually. That's a telescope and ladder, right? Yep. And then uh, if you give me the uh, GoPro, watch this. We extend it. Oh. And then curve it some like that. And then look, now we can see the roof. 
So up there on the roof, you should see like a bike rack and solar and one AC unit and everything. Pretty nice feature. Also, there you go, Andrea. Also, it does have a backup camera for when you're driving. Okay, and it does have a hitch there. Oh. 3,500 pound hitch. You should not tow anything behind this motorhome. Okay, so look, they got some storage here. Yep. And everything. And then really nice Electrical big rear outlet. bathroom. Yes, and I like how it has cubbies there. All right. All right. Coming around, finishing up right here is where you dump your black and gray tank. Okay. Here's your sanitation flush. Here's all your water hookups out here. Oh, I love this. City water fill, fresh water fill, and a place to actually store your um, sewer hose. Oh, that's good. And it has a Chuma Hot instant hot tankless water heater. That's your propane tanks down there. And 30 amp motor home with the power right there. And then right here is where you fill up your fuel, right there. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Cool. I can't wait to see this. All right. Okay, step up. Oh, wow, very cool. So let me do my little spin around. I like the LED light right there. Yep. <laughs> got to go slow Matt you make people dizzy so I see that's like a sofa type bed go back here we got the kitchen and then here's the bathroom great in Andrea yes before we show everybody inside I want to give a huge shout out to our new sponsor my waggle Bing. my waggle is a digital thermostat that goes it plugs into your RV okay and what it does is it sends you text message and email notifications so you don't need Wi-Fi. And it lets you know if it's getting too warm in your RV or if your RV loses power. So if you are a pet owner, Andrea, and you bring your pets camping with you, as you know, there's a lot of times you want to leave your pet in the camper um, while you go out and explore the local area. Make sure you get a My Waggle. We have a link down below for 50% off when you use our link um, to my waggle website and then that's the best way to keep your pets safe yes and protect your fur babies everybody yes 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 let's start up here oh right nice leather seats okay here we are in the cockpit area of the dodge chassis i made this known in other videos i'm not a huge fan of the dodge chassis because like you can't even see the nose of your front but let me tell you it's not about me it's about you guys because you're buying it also Whoa. i i feel elevated Wait, do, do look you how feel high i am I, right. I swear i think the seat is up or something yeah it just feels more elevated like, you have your pioneer system right here everything's in control how do you feel co-captain um i feel really weird like look you feel tall yeah, yeah. I, I feel like the seat probably goes down a yeah, little it bit has to. because this this is crazy to be up this high yep i mean even even me i mean i only have a a couple inches and i'm a very short dude so okay and so what do they got here just a little bit of storage storage yep what's that for uh that's like a paper clip holder okay yep awesome. not, a, not a paper clip holder but you know what i'm saying to hold some uh, important documents or whatever. Look, you got a little tiny bit of storage right here, you guys. Every little bit counts when you're in a class B. Yep, and cup holders. I like how they have this here. Uh-huh. Oh, a little bit crowded. Yep. All right, so I see there is also storage above, as there you sure can is. see right there, and there is a step there. And then this seat does swivel around to become part of the living area. And you have your own little office desk area right here right which is a nice feature i like that that's and, pretty cool and then and you right do have here, usb down there an electrical outlet yep and then look at this here's another oh thing. i like that it's a lagoon type yep i Very don't know what that cool. means what's the lagoon type mean well if you've seen more class b videos you would know oh really yes 
Oh. Hashtag van life. People know what I'm talking about. All right. But Matt. A Li little oh. bit of storage there. Oh, pretty cool. USB and power. And what were you about to say? I was just looking for a privacy curtain. Okay. I'm sure they have something that goes along here. Yep. And then right over here is your solar controller, your potable water fill and everything. Potable. 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 And then here is your digital dash. All right. Now over here in the living room area, I love the oh, Euro style yes. cabinetry. This is the same as they use in like the Winnebago's and I think it looks fantastic. You have these nice automotive style windows, right? And they'll open up and then you push them out. Oh, I think you they slide. slide it. <laughs> oh, van life. Van life. Oh, oh there yeah. you go. They slide. Oh, that's so cool. And it comes with the screen as well. Um, it does have a shade there. Yep, right there. And then this is what I'm talking about, Andre. This is the bed. It's the sofa. It's the all-in-one, okay? First, got some lights there. You got there. some lights there, and a speaker, and a reading light. Yep. So this is the bedroom area. I mean, this this can morph down to make a bed. It's a real pain in the butt. But again, it's really just for one I, person. I do see that it probably, it, when it comes, we'll, we'll have to show it as a bed mat, because oh. people are gonna wanna see it. Okay, we'll do it. But we'll only show it after the bed, after the MSRP. Okay. okay. MSRP on this motorhome here is not a bad price at all for a class B. $93,125 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see here, we have it 12% off, which for class B's, that's it's different for class B's. They don't price them the same like they do other motorhomes. To a sale price of $82,995. That is a fantastic sale price for a motorhome. But Andrea, we can always get people a little bit of a better price. Tell everybody how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or send me an email, mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three sections. You're ready to buy this RV or any RV. Click tab number one, that takes you to General RV, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions on this motorhome, click tab number two, that, uh, that sends an email to both me and Will, and we will answer you within 24 hours, or if you just have a generalized fan question, click that third tab, and we answer you as soon as possible. And Andrea, yes, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. What's the one thing that every tab has they'll in common? The, they'll get the best price in America. <laughs> Andrea, let's continue the video. All right, Matt, you forgot to show the TV. Oh, there's the TV. Well, well, this. well, the TV's in the kitchen. It's all like the same. This is beautiful. Look at this countertop, you yes. guys. Nice solid surface. Got plenty of stuff. Look, cubby wow. here. There's a USB in here. We got more space and then we got cabinetry up here cabinetry for days coax usb there hdmi uh-huh more cabinetry and look at this i like this that they have windows all around yes cute little sink modern sink <laughs> oh, very nice very nice Four drawers. Four drawers, super duper nice. Okay, got another cabinet up here. Yes, ma'am. We got a nice, uh, what is this called? Hood range. Hood range? I don't know. Splash guard, something. A steamer. A st oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What is it? A steamer stopper. <laughs> That's a steam stopper. Two burner propane cooktop to Yes, ma'am. Oh, yep. I almost forgot. Oh, that's Tower of Power. That's awesome. Yes. That's a nice, nice big one. And then we got the convection microwave. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Awesome. I believe that's just a panel. Yep. We'll Here's... show those with the bedroom. Okay. Check this fridge out. Oh, this is a big fridge for in here, you guys. For a class B, it is. They're usually only like this size, but look at this. Yeah, very nice. We got a little freezer, much bigger than the small fridges that they normally uh -huh. have, which uh -huh. is like a 12 volt normally. Okay. And am I showing these? Oh, uh, okay, show. This is for the bedroom area. Yeah, we got six drawers here. It's all one area. Yep. 
So that's great, great space. Awesome, now it's time for me to, not to show you how to put the bed, to figure out how to put the bed down, okay? Oh. I don't know how to do this. Okay, I see that they have little oh, table things down table. here that come up. Oh, this is what you're talking about with Lagoon. Yes. Oh, Lagoon. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like, yeah. Okay. Doesn't that look like it comes up, Matt? <sighs> oh, it might pull out. No, it's a lock. Uh-oh, there you go. There, look, that's not too bad. It's bad, I hate doing that this. That was easy. I hate it, I hate look it. Look at that. I didn't like Legos growing up as a kid, and I don't like setting stuff well, up. Well, it's good so people know, but yeah, I could see how this would be a pain every night to do. Right. But at least you have the option. And then look at the cushions, it's a big old mess. It definitely look is a this. big old mess. I would have look to sit here and try to figure out which goes where, but I'm sure this goes. Do you know what just happened to me? What? <laughs> I just got deja vu of when I was a kid and I had the brand new Harry Potter Lego set and I opened up the bag and it just went poof <laughs> and all the Legos went everywhere. That's just what happened. Um, but I mean, it's again, good that we showed it. Too. Hold on, hold on. I thought I seen storage. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nope. Okay, so this is just where they all the compartments and uh, everything is. Okay, I had to check. It's very important. What, what a mess. What a mess. Okay, okay. so no. this goes back. Yep. This that, that goes back with that, so when you push it in, yep. Mess. <laughs> mess. We're leaving it. We're leaving it. Let's continue. Okay, we well, gotta do the bathroom. See, you guys, he has no patience for this, but I love class B's. So here we go to the bathroom. Okay, so the bathroom. Okay, first and foremost, toilet paper holder right here. I love it. I love how it does it like that. Okay? Okay. We have some storage right in here. For your linens, some wardrobe. A nice drawer. Drawers. And a nice drawer. Okay. Okay. And over here. Is your shower head. Oh, Looks you got like a medicine have... cabinet. Yeah, a little medicine cabinet there. Oh, this is what I do like. The, have a little sink yes, that pops it down. Does have a sink. Very nice. And it does have the shower. Oh, head look at right this! There. Look at this. So if the water goes in here, and then you drain it that way. Cool. That's actually kind of cool. The light, the fan, a little pocket door right here. Actually, it's two pocket doors. Oh, we they close look at that. from that side. Yep. And I do like at least they gave you the shower curtain right there to go around to protect your cabinetry. Plastic. Wah, wah. It's a shame, it's actually pretty nice, pretty spacious. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review, that's the Thor Sequence 20K. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and Andrea, three things we dislike about it. What do we do first? Three things we like about it. Okay, I have two if you have one. I do have one. Talk to me. Okay. I happen to love the concept. I I like that it has the sofa here and it has so much space to work in. Yes. And just to be, you know, in a living area. Yes. And I like and I like how it converts into a bed. Although I wish those cushions were a little bit easier. Okay, correct. Yeah. So so I'm going to combo that. So so that's one, okay? My number two is going to be this kitchen setup, yes. okay? Great but I also space. want to co combo that if you are one person, then the one sleeping area works. Perfect, yeah. You know, um, and just because of that, because it's not giving you the two sleeping areas, you have a really nice kitchen countertop area, which is really, really awesome. So that's two. And then number three, I mean, I got to give props to the size of the bathroom. But number three is going to be the lagoon. Hey, the lagoon table. Very good. Um, I like it. I like how it does this. I like how you can use this seat or this seat, and it just works. It's this is, this is my opinion. This is if somebody's working from the road, working at a job site or something. This is a great unit to get. Yes. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. Andre, do you want to go first? Sure. 
Okay, so my dislike, like I said, I do like the bed, but I don't like the cushions. I yes. think there's almost a way that you can make it easier, <laughs> maybe have them connected to each other. So that way, when you do drop it down, it just folds right in, and then you don't have to go through making it and it being so complicated. Andrea, those cushions are a disaster. They are. They and, and all they're going to do is roll out and everything. I'm yes. not a fan of that. That's why I'm thinking there's a way that they can have it connected somehow yep. with some cloth or something. And that way it just comes right out yep. when this comes out. Perfect. Yes. That's one. Andrea, if you want to turn around that way. Number two is going to be right in here with the water hookups from the outside. There's other class B's where they'll put the water hookups in here yeah. and not outside of the motorhome. Yes, so, I agree. I agree. So that's just something else that I really do think uh, would be a nice feature. That's two, and my third dislike uh -oh. <laughs> oh, oh, is this bike rack. Uh, I hate this bike rack. This bike rack is so stupid. There, there's, there's a thousand Americans a year who get their heads bashed in by this bike rack like I did. I don't like that bike rack. I'm not a fan of it. And, you know, I just don't like the bike rack. Okay. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the Thor Sequence Model 20K. Do me a huge favor, everyone. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know what you like about this Class B motorhome and let us know what you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to uh, promote our videos to. If you're in the market for a Class B, in a few seconds, we're gonna show you what this unit competes against right here and here. If you guys have any questions, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews.gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell or the best thing to do is to go to Matt's rvreviews.com. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Thor does read the comments, you guys, so make sure you comment. Also, if you haven't gotten a chance, make sure you check out the My Waggle. Yes. Protect your fur babies. Yes. We have links in the description below. With 50% off. Code MAT50. Yep. Finally, if you guys are watching this the first couple days it's coming out, make sure you meet me this weekend at the Ocala RV Show. Andrea might pop in here yes. and there. With, with Yuna. With <laughs> Yuna. Um, but she won't be there. She, she'll only be there for a little bit of time. Yes. I will be there all weekend, so make sure you stop in and see us. I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.